Welcome to Everglades High School. My name is Mrs. Alvarez Finn and I am the School Counseling Director. In this presentation, you will learn important high school information along with the variety of programs that Everglades has to offer. In addition, I will review the 2021 course selection process. As always, we are all here to assist you in reaching your highest potential. Meet our principal, Mrs. Darbar. Mrs. Darbar is very dedicated to our school. You will see her in the halls and at almost every after school event. Mrs. Darbar is always available to meet with students and parents. Make sure to stop by and say hi. She would be so happy to meet with you. I would like to introduce your 2020 2021 current school counselors at Everglades High School. At Everglades High School, your school counselor will be with you for all four years and will move up each grade level with you. Mrs. Dembo is our ninth grade school counselor. Mrs. Powell, 10th grade school counselor. Mrs. Gooden, 11th grade school counselor. Mrs. Lysat Maricos, 12th grade school counselor. Mrs. Thomas, school counselor to all Cambridge 9th through 12th graders. Mr. Lanfranco, our brace advisor servicing all 9th through 12th graders. Myself, Mrs. Alvarez Finn, School Counseling Director, and Mr. Tanger Uncle, 12th grade administrator. Our school counselors have created a one stop shop where you can access important information through Canvas. You will be able to click on any icon for information. In addition, please follow us on Twitter at EHS Gatorade for all things school counseling related. We also have a counselor calming room. You may click on any icon to hear soothing sounds, positive quotes, and learn new relaxation techniques. At Everglades High School, school will start at 7.40 a.m. and students are dismissed at 2.40 p.m. More about your day. You will have eight classes that are 90 minutes long. You will also meet with each class every other day those days are called silver and black days. One class out of your total eight will be a personalization period. This is like a study hall, but better. You will have eight minutes between classes, 36 minutes for lunch, and you can eat inside or outside. 
Our cafeteria serves a variety of food, such as pizza, chicken nuggets, salads, nachos, burgers, cookies, chicken wings, and much, much more. How do I select my classes? In order to select your classes, you must have a good understanding of the high school graduation requirements. Good choices are the foundation of a successful high school career. What does it all mean? Today we will go over concepts such as GPA, EOC, service hours, bright futures, cohort, and forgiveness. We will also review the big five, your credits, online requirement, grades, community service learning, and test scores. The big five for college and scholarships. You will need 24 credits in order to graduate, but you must have the right 24 credits and your classes should contain as much rigor as possible. For rigorous courses, you can choose honors, advanced placement, ACE, dual enrollment, and you should take two credits of the same world language. For grades, your weighted GPI should be very high and you should at least have a B average. GPA is what makes you competitive. For test scores, you should have a high SAT, ACT scores and passing EOC scores along with FSA scores. You're also required one online class, but be careful if the class you are taking is one credit and you only pass half, then you will have not completed your online requirement. You also need 40 community service hours to graduate. Remember, always do more than the minimum. Innovative projects definitely make an impact and it must be for a nonprofit organization. The approval forms and our, and our documentation forms are located on our website and I have enclosed the link along with the rules and guidelines for earning community service hours. This next slide is very important. It is our graduation requirements for grades 9 through 12. The following is what is needed in order to graduate. You must take and pass four English classes. You must also pass the 10th grade FSA. You must take four math classes. Two of those classes need to be algebra, which has an EOC attached, which you must pass, geometry, where your EOC is 30%, and two more math courses. You need three science classes, where biology is one of those classes and it's 30% of your grade, and two more additional sciences. You also need three social studies, world history, U.S. history with a 30% EOC, government and economics, one credit of physical education, one credit of performing arts, eight electives. Remember, choose wisely with your electives. Some electives would be to take world languages for college, some electives are academic, some electives help you with career certification, some electives require outside performances or competitions. You also need an online class and an unweighted 2.0 GPA in order to graduate. If you are in the Cambridge program, your requirements are a little different. You will not need to take a personal fitness or a physical education class or an online class. However, you must have taken seven Cambridge exams in your bucket with at least one from each category. Grade point average. There are three high school GPAs that you need to be aware of. The unweighted GPA, weighted GPA, and the academic core GPA. The unweighted GPA or state GPA requires a 2.0 for high school graduation. All high school courses that you take count. There is no weight for honors, ACE, AP. The highest unweighted GPA of all A's will be a 4.0. Remember, ninth grade year is what you make of it, so do your best to do well. There is also a weighted GPA, also known as the district GPA. This is used for class ranking purposes. Weight is also given for honors or ACE, AP, dual enrollment if a C or higher is earned. And lastly, you have the Academic Core GPA. This is what colleges will review for admissions. It is a weighted GPA counting all academic courses. 
All courses in English, math, science, social studies, and foreign language are classified as academic. What is Bright Futures? The Florida Bright Futures Scholarship Program establishes lottery-funded scholarships to reward Florida high school graduates for academic achievement. There are four scholarships available to students. As long as you meet the GPA, courses, community service hour, and testing requirements, you can be eligible for free money to be used at any Florida college or university. The Florida Academic is the top Bright Future scholarship awarded to students that have a weighted Bright Futures GPA of a 3.5, 100 hours of community service, and specific test scores. This award pays 100% tuition and fees. The Florida Medallion is another Bright Future scholarship awarded to students that have a weighted Bright Futures GPA of a 3.0, 75 hours of community service, and specific test scores. This award pays 75% tuition and fees. The Florida Gold Seal Vocational Scholarship is for students that have taken three full credits in a single career and technical program, achieve a 3.5 within those classes, and a weighted 3.0 GPA in the non-elective high school courses, 30 community service hours, and specific test scores. Please refer to the slide for the specific amount awarded. The Florida Gold Seal CAPE Scholarship is for students that have earned five post-secondary credit hours through CAPE industry certifications and com must complete 30 community service hours. Both the Gold Seal and CAPE scholarships may be used at post-secondary institutions that offer an Applied Technology Diploma, Technical Degree Education Program, Associate in Applied Science or Associate in Science or a career certificate program. Please refer to the slide for specific amount awards. For the dual enrollment and early admissions program, Broward College and the School Board of Broward County jointly sponsor a dual enrollment program. This program gives high school freshmen through seniors a unique opportunity to enroll in courses at BC for high school and college credit. To be eligible for the program, Students must have an unweighted GPA of a 3.0 or better, an appropriate SAT, ACT, or AccuPlacer scores. To maintain eligibility in this program, students must maintain a C or higher in their BC courses and must complete dual enrollment early admissions paperwork each semester. Refer to our school's website for the testing deadline. The early admission option is open to seniors only. Early admission is a form of dual enrollment, allowing eligible senior students to enroll full-time at BC, at least 12 credit hours in the fall and winter term. As a dual enrollment student, instead of attending high school for the senior year, you can enroll full-time in college and receive high school and college credit for the courses you take. You must complete two consecutive terms carrying 12 college level credit hours each major term and maintain an unweighted grade point average of a 2.0 in order to receive your high school diploma. How do I choose my electives? If I get two or three electives, at least one should be part of a program, such as world language, and in our world language program we offer Spanish, Spanish for Spanish speakers and French, debate, creative photography, career technical education courses, band, chorus, color guard, computer coding, and robotics. In the next few slides, we will discuss the different programs that Everglades has to offer. Our first program is a sports medicine biomedical science program. Students with a three or higher on the FSA reading and math who have an interest in science or in the health-related professions can apply for our highly rigorous sports medicine program. Students will qualify for industry certification in EKG technician and personal training. These students will take a challenging course of study including a double dose of science. For example, Honors English 1 or Pre-Ace English 1, Honors or Cambridge Science, Honors Anatomy and Physiology, math, advanced placement or ACE physical education, 
and will have two free electives in their schedule. Our Cambridge program at Everglades High School is a rigorous international diploma program. Students can apply on our school's website and I have also enclosed the link below. For the traditional track, students will take the same college courses available, but they will start in 10th grade and finish by 12th grade. For the fast track, students will start with college level courses in 9th grade and finish by 11th grade. Students have 24 months to pass exams leading to the ACE or Cambridge Diploma. The ACE Diploma plus Community Service guarantees students the top dollar award of the Florida's Bright Futures Scholarship. Project RED is a rigorous engineering development program designed for highly academic students with an interest in pursuing a career in engineering. Students will participate in a three-level cohort program that will focus on a highly rigorous college preparatory curriculum. Students may apply for this program online and must also have passed Algebra 1 by the end of eighth grade year. Students will qualify for industry certification in AutoCAD, Mastercam, and SolidWorks. In our fine arts program, you can take acting, theater, stagecraft, eurythmics, or also known as color guard, 2D art, guitar, band, chorus, history and the literature of theater, survey of music, and debate honors. Below are some pictures of the different programs we offer, and you can also click on the website to view additional elective videos. Physical education. All students, except those students in the Cambridge Academy, must take personal fitness and a physical education class. Students who do not need HOPE, which is personal fitness and physical education, or who have already taken HOPE, may choose a PE elective such as team sports, basketball, volleyball, weight training for female athletes, weight training for JV football players. In addition, if you take JROTC for two years and earn a C or higher, you are waived from taking a performing arts credit, personal fitness credit, and a physical education credit. Our mass media electives include journalism yearbook and journalism newspaper, levels one through four, debate honors, levels one through four, and creative writing, levels one through four. Please visit our school's website for additional elective videos. Our computer coding program is sponsored by Code.org. This program has received bipartisan support as a White House initiative for increasing computer science literacy. Students can learn about ever-changing technology and different coding techniques. Students in this program will create their own programs, games, and apps using the latest versions of Scratch and Java. Students who complete this program can earn college credit by passing the newest AP Computer Science test. Our coding teacher is part of the Broward Schools Coding Initiative cohort. You can also click on the link below to see a video. Earlier in this presentation, I reviewed the Gold Seal and Cape Scholarship for Bright Futures. Below are the computer design and engineering courses where students can earn industry and career certifications. Web design prepares students for a career in digital media. Communication Technology Honors is an interdisciplinary program utilizing computer graphics and design. Digital Photo Honors or Creative Photography explores the world of art making through photography techniques. In Videography Honors, students will experiment both with the creative and technical aspects of filmmaking and in principles of engineering you will learn transferable skills that can be applied to the manufacturing civil aerospace electronics and mechanical sectors all of these upon successful completion can award you with the gold seal or the cape scholarship for bright futures our last course in this series is our health science program. Students will take this course in preparation for a career in the medical profession. Students are required to take anatomy and physiology first, and then in senior year, will take health science two and allied health. Students in these courses will have a hands-on experience in the hospital setting. 
Latinos in Action is another elective course that students can take. It's based upon the White House initiative to increase achievement of Hispanic children. Students do not have to be Latin and do not need to speak Spanish to participate. This is a leadership program that orients students to service learning. We are one of six schools leading this initiative in Broward County. Please visit the link below to see additional videos. Debate Honors. Our highly competitive debate team travels county and countrywide to compete in a variety of tournaments. Students can participate in any area that interests them and that will develop their personal talents. Debate classes are honor level courses and help students develop critical thinking skills, presentation skills, and communication skills. Debate students learn skills for enhancing their college admissions portfolio, making them highly competitive. Please click on the link below to view a video. The Firefighter Academy is a three-year program that starts in 10th grade. Students must have a 2.5 to enter the program, and it is a joint venture between EHS and the City of Miramar. Courses are taught by the firefighters from the City of Miramar's Fire Department, and students can become certified as a Level 1 firefighter and as an emergency service technician. Levels 3 students will perform hands-on training at the Fire Academy. There are several volunteer opportunities for cadets at the local fire station, and during senior year, cadets can earn industry certification in Level 1 firefighting. Cadets who earn this State of Florida certification can progress to a Level 2 academy immediately after high school. Please view the clip from our school's website below. The FBI Youth Academy program is a three-year program that starts in grade 10. Students must have a 2.5 to enter the program and it is a joint venture between Everglades and the FBI. Students participate in hands-on learning with assistance from the federal agents and participating agencies. There are several volunteer opportunities for participants in this program. Robotics is a lab-based course that uses a hands-on approach to introduce the basic concepts of robotics, focusing on the construction and programming of autonomous mobile robots. We will be using VEX robotic design system as our platform. There are no requirements to join this course. What is a co-curricular program? A co-curricular program involves participating both during and after school. Some of our co-curricular programs include band, color guard, chorus, ROTC, and debate. Why should I take JROTC? JROTC's mission statement is motivating young people to become better citizens. In this course, you will learn leadership skills. Two years of JROTC will equal one HOPE credit, study skills, scholarship opportunities, community service opportunities, competitions, resume building, and organizational skills. And just because I join ROTC does not mean that I'm going to join the military. So how do I apply for an innovative program? For applying to an innovative program, you must go to the Everglades High School website page. I have also included a link. On our home page, you'll click on 2021 Curriculum Fair Presentation and Application. You will see a link to click for the following programs. Cambridge, Project Red, and Sports Medicine. Students who wish to participate in two academies must complete two separate applications. Students may apply to the Cambridge program plus one more academy. In Everglades, it is very important to involve yourself in extracurricular activities. Get involved and have lots of fun. We have a variety of clubs, athletics, and it also looks great on your applications and resumes for college. Here are some pictures of our students getting involved. It is also another great way to meet new people here at Everglades.
Everglades High School offers a variety of different clubs that you can join. In the next couple of slides, you will see everything that we offer. Here are more clubs that we offer. And the last slide of clubs that we offer. If there is a club here that you don't see on any of the slides and are interested in creating a new club, that definitely can be done here at Everglades as well. In addition to joining a club or an organization, you can also get involved with a variety of athletics that we have to offer. See the variety of athletics that we offer here, such as cheerleading, football, baseball, soccer, softball, tennis, wrestling, track and field, and also four different teams that you can participate in through the JRTC program. Choosing your ninth grade classes. Every student will take English, math, science, and either a social studies or a reading course. If you're in the Cambridge Fast Track program, you will be taking ACE Psychology and ACE General Paper. If you are in the Honors or Regular Cambridge Track, you'll be taking World Cultures Geography Honors or AP, which is Advanced Placement. If you are in the Regular Track, you will be taking World Cultures Geography. One reading class is required pending your past and current grades in English. So everyone, please make sure that you do really well in your last year in eighth grade. All students will take seven courses plus one personalization period. Courses beyond English, math, social studies, science, and reading are considered electives. Choosing classes for grades 10, 11th, and 12. Everyone must take one English, one math, one science, and one social studies. In 10th grade, you'll be taking world history or world history honors or AP world history. In 11th grade, you'll be taking US history, US history honors, or AP US history. And in 12th grade, you'll be taking American Government and Economics, American Government and Economics Honors, or AP Government and Comparative Government, and AP Microeconomics and AP Macroeconomics. You will also have a personalization period and an elective. Now for the most important and exciting part of this presentation, how do I complete my course selection form? Number one, rising 9th through 12th graders will complete course selection virtually through Microsoft Forms by clicking the link on the homepage of our school's website. Below are the sample forms that you will see. Number two, click on your 2021-2022 grade level and read the instructions for completing this form. Number three, please fill out the form in its entirety. Once you select a track, select one course for each subject area. Remember, the tracks we reviewed in this presentation are the Cambridge Fast Track, the Cambridge Program, the Honors Track, and the Regular Track. Number four, when selecting electives, you may choose five classes, ranking them one through five. You may only use each number once throughout the entire selection. Number five, some courses, including electives, may require teacher approval. Number six, course selection is subject to change based upon course availability and teacher counselor approval. Number seven, choose your core courses carefully. We will be reviewing your requests and making changes based upon your past and current marking period grades. So students, it is very important to do the best that you can. We will look at your last marking period grades. Number eight, student and parent must sign the last form on the course selection card. Number nine, choose carefully as we will not be making any changes. 
Number 10, rising ninth graders or current eighth graders must complete the registration forms and send with two proofs of your address to our registrar. Her email is listed below. Number 11, PDF course selection cards will be available through our website and videos on electives on January 19th. Number 12, students will choose their courses from January 25th through January 29th online and submit their registration paperwork. Remember, your choices today will determine your future. If you have course selection questions, please set up a virtual appointment to speak with your school counselor. If you have course selection questions, please set up a virtual appointment to speak with your school counselor. By clicking on the appropriate school counselor's book an appointment, you will then be taken to your school counselor's calendar and will be able to schedule a time to ask any questions that you may have. Mrs. Alvarez Finn myself will assist incoming ninth graders or current eighth graders. Mrs. Dembo will assist 10th graders. Mrs. Powell will assist 11th graders. Mrs. Gooden will assist 12th graders. Mrs. Thomas will assist incoming ninth graders interested in the Cambridge program and also grades 10, 11th, and 12th in the Cambridge program. Should you have any post-secondary questions, our BRACE advisor, Mr. Lanfranco, can assist you. Please remember that we are all here to help you and we look forward to welcoming all Gators to Everglades High School. Thank you for joining me during this presentation and I hope that you have learned a lot. We are all looking forward to working with you.